Rhododendron canescens, the second of our native deciduous azaleas that we'll see. Rhododendron canescens is the Piedmont azalea, and this is probably one of the most common ones that you'll see in the wild. Also available in the trade. Our native deciduous azaleas, obviously are native, native to the southeast on this one, and it's hardy zone six to nine. Our family, we already know our family on rhododendron, Iricaceae. So we think filtered sun, moist, acid, well-drained soil, right? But a lot of times you'll see the native deciduous azaleas in a little more sun because everybody wants that really nice bloom. Not a whole lot different from the Austrinum as far as ID, and it would be hard to ID without flowers between the two. The native deciduous azaleas look similar when just in foliage. You can see on this one the flowers are coming out now. The trusses, remember, is what we talked about calling the flower clusters on the rhododendron. So it flowers in these terminal trusses, that funnel form type flower. The other thing we talked about when we looked at the evergreen rhododendron was how to tell a true rhododendron from an azalea, right? And we counted stamens and you can see one, two, three, four, five. Five stamens makes it an azalea. If it had 10 stamens, it would be a true rhododendron. So azalea on this one. You get a nice fragrance off this flower as well and the pretty pink color. Uh, foliage is gonna be fairly the same as on the Austrinum. You can see the foliage coming out right behind the flowers in these clusters. As it elongates, you will see an alternate leaf arrangement. The flowers are obovate. Sorry, the foliage is obovate. It's narrow, about two to three inches in length. You still have that little bristle on the tip and you will find some pubescence, especially when young, and then mostly just pubescence on the veins as they get a little older there on the underside. Uh, your habit, upright, vase type habit. We'll see this one anywhere between about 10 to 15 feet. But a great one for mixed borders, a great one for naturalizing, and everybody lives to see azalea flowers in the spring.